starting trigonometry today. AS trigonometry. Hope that's how it's spelled. Chalo, it's clear. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. We can do without the heading. So we're starting trigonometry and we're making four quadrants. In the first quadrant, we have angle between zero degree to 90 degree. Now let's choose an angle between zero and 90 degree, let's say 40 degree. So sine 40, cos 40 and tan 40. When you find these values in your calculator, you'll notice that sine 40 gives a positive answer. So does cos 40 and so does tan 40, which means that in the first quadrant, sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, all three ratios give a positive answer. So I'm writing all here. A represents all. So all of these give a positive answer. In the second quadrant, if we take an angle, second quadrant starts from 90, ends at 180. So in the second quadrant, if we take an angle, for example, 100 degrees, then you'll notice that sine 100, cos 100, and tan 100, out of these three ratios, only sine 100 gives a positive answer. Cos 100 gives a negative answer, tan 100 gives a negative answer. That means in the second quadrant, only sine theta is positive. So I'm writing sine in the second quadrant. S represents sine. Okay. Similarly, the third quadrant starts at 180, ends at 270. So let's take an angle between 180 and 270. Let's say 200. So sine 200 cos 200 and tan 200. When you find these values in your calculator, add sugar to, okay, only tan will be positive. This would be negative, this would be negative, and tan would be positive. So in the third quadrant, only tan is positive. So that is represented by T. And in the fourth quadrant, you'll notice that only cos is positive. Fourth quadrant starts at 270, ends at 360. So if you take 300, sine 300, cos 300, tan 300. So only cos is going to be positive. So we write C over here. So you need to remember that in the first quadrant, A is positive, that means all are positive. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, only T is positive, tan. And in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive. You can remember this by the line, add sugar to coffee, or all students take calculus or we still to see the abbreviations. So just stick to whichever one you find more catchy. Now let's see how this will come up in a question. So before we do that, let's also quickly talk about periodicity of sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. What is that? Periodicity of sine theta means that when does the function complete one complete revolution? So I think all of you have seen uh, graphs of sine cos tan already with me. So graph of sine, one complete revolution of sine graph looks like this. And it ends at 360 degrees. And after that and before that, the curve repeats itself. So it's a never-ending curve, but one complete revolution ends at 360 degree. 
So the periodicity of cos graph is, or cos theta is 360 degrees, or in radians, it's 2 pi. So periodicity of sine theta is 2 pi, or in, radian, in degrees, it's 360 degrees. Similarly, cos completes one complete revolution between 0 and 360 degree as well. So the periodicity of cos is 2 pi and 360 or 360 degree, but tan completes its one revolution in 180 degrees or pi radius. Tan looks like this. So essentially, periodicity means how long it takes it for complete one revolution? One revolution, yes. One complete oh. cycle. Another thing you can conclude from periodicity is that, let's say 30 degrees is somewhere over here. Okay, 30 degrees. Let's say 30 is somewhere over here. You will get a particular value of Y for this 30. It's this value. But then you get the same value of Y here as well. What I'm trying to say is that sine 30 will give you, give you the same answer as what is the value of 30, 360 degrees later? It's going to be 390. Okay, If you take 30 degrees, 30 deg uh, 360 degrees to the right, you get 390 degrees. Let's check in your calculators whether these both both of these answers are same or not. I'll have to first change the settings to degrees because mine was in radians. So it's the same. Sine 30 is half and also sine 390 is half. Now what I'll do is take this 30 degrees, 360 degree backwards. So what becomes of 360 uh, of 30 degrees when you take it 360 degrees to the left? It's going to be sine minus 330 degrees, right? 30 minus 360 is 330 minus 330. It should give the same answer. Is it giving the same answer? Yep. Yes, it is. So if you keep adding uh, 360 degrees or 2 pi in radians to any value of theta, you will keep getting the same answer because the curve repeats itself after every 360 degree. That's the actual concept of periodicity. Same is true for cos. Cos 30 will give you the same answer as cos 390 as cos minus 330. If you keep increasing or decreasing the angle with 360 degree, you will end up with the same answer. But for tan, it is true for 180 degrees or pi. Okay? This is periodicity ka concept. Now we are ready to start the past paper questions. Here is the question that tan theta is One point two three. Find theta where theta is between uh, zero to two pi. Okay. So how do you solve this? You have to first ignore theta and write alpha here. So we rewrite the question as tan. Alpha equals 1.23. This alpha is known as absolute angle. Now let's find the value of alpha through tan inverse. Alpha would be tan inverse of 1.23. Tan inverse, I think I should have use degrees here just to give more clarity to this question. Let's stay in degrees. So it's between 0 to 360 degrees. So 
switch your calculators to degrees if you had converted it to radians. So tan inverse 1.23 is 50.9 after rounding to one decimal. Okay, now was the answer of tan theta positive or negative in the question? Is tan theta positive or is tan theta negative in the question? Positive. Positive. So let's sketch this alpha. Add sugar to coffee. So that means this alpha can either be in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant. It can't be in S or C. Because in S, we know that tan should be negative. In C, we also know tan should be negative. So that absolute angle is either here, right 50.9 with the x-axis, or here, right 50.9 with the x-axis. So one of your value of theta is this and the other value of theta is this. So you're getting two answers of theta. One is the same 50.9 and the other one is 180 plus 50.9. I hope you understand where is the 180 coming from. 230.9. All right. So these are the two answers. Yes. Abu Bakr and Dwar, do you understand this? Yes, yes. Yeah. Achha, now what I'll do, I'll change the domain. I'm going to change the domain to uh, 0 to, uh, let's say, 500 degrees. Okay. So you have to find all the solutions of theta between 0 to 500 degrees. So we got theta is equals to 50.9 and theta is equals to 230.9. What do we, we can know? just find 360. No, that is not the periodicity of tan. What's the periodicity of tan? That was the periodicity mean? for 360 degrees, the period for... No, this is for tan. Yes. 360 degrees the oh, period. 180? Of course, yes. For tan, the period is 180 degrees. So you will get the same answer, 1.23, if you keep adding 180 to these answers. So one of the answer is 50.9. Let's add 90 to it. I think we'll get the same answer. Uh, sorry, 180 to it, not 90. We get the other answer, 230.9, which we already have. Now let's add uh, 180 to it again. That gives us 10.9. 10 .9. So you would add another answer to it. But if you again add 180 to it, it goes beyond uh, 500. So that won't be part of our solution. Okay? Everybody. So you have to keep an eye on the domain. It's not always going to be between 0 and 360 degree. Abu Bakr and Ryan, is this clear? Yes, miss. Achha. Yes. I'm going to change the domain again now. And now it is 500 till, uh, let's say, minus 200. So now what do we have to include here? Negative side may be there. So instead of adding pi, sorry. Minus 180. Uh, instead of adding 180, you also need to check backwards. So 50.9 minus 180, now that is minus 129.1. So that's another solution now in the new domain. But if you add another 180, if you add, subtract another 180 from minus 129.1, it goes beyond minus 200, which is not part of a solution. Take it. Let me give you another one. Uh, the question is sine theta equals negative half Q 
theta is again between 0 to 360 to start with. And you have to find all the solutions within the given domain 0 to 360 degree. Now, first step is uh, lose the theta and write alpha instead. Sine alpha equals. Now, another thing you need to do with alpha is that in case if it's a negative value, you have to, for now, pretend it's positive. That is the purpose of absolute angle. Absolute means positive. So when you're finding the absolute angle, you must consider the ratio to be positive. So it was minus half, but we have positive half. Angle. Using this positive half, let's find the sine inverse. That is 30 degrees. So alpha comes out to be 30 degrees. Now it's time to plot it. Where do I plot the theta? In A, S, or T, or C. C and A. Yes. yes. But cos is negative. Sorry, sine. Sine is negative. It's not Miss T and T and C. Yeah. T or C. Man. Yeah, because originally, sine is negative. So it goes here. It's always plotted with the x-axis. Or it goes here and it's always plotted with the x-axis. Why axis ke saath na plot kar dena? Yahaan ya yahaan 30 ni rikha. Okay. Achha. So now let's find the angles. Just read the angles from the positive x-axis. This would be one of the answers and this would be the second answer. So what are the values of theta here? This 330 or 210. Okay. 330 and 210. 180 plus 30 is 210 and 360 minus 30 is 330. Anybody who does not get this? Yes, Okay. I hope it's understood. So, now what I'm going to do is change the domain. So, it's going to be from Minus four hundred to one thousand degrees. Now, what other answers would we get other than these two? This six ninety. Six ninety. कैसे आया? What did you add to what? Miss three thirty में three sixty add किया. Five seventy. So you added three sixty to it. That gives us three thirty plus three sixteen. Six ninety would be one of the answers that's correct. What did you do, Dua? Two ten plus three sixty. Okay, two ten plus three sixty gives us a different answer. So you must check that as well. This gives five seventy. Okay, five seventy. So one of our answer is five seventy as well. Nine thirty. So three seventy में दोबारा three sixty add हो रहा है yes. Add another three sixty to it. That gives us nine thirty. So that is our fifth answer. Anything else? Negative में बनाएंगे. हाँ अब उल्टा जाना शुरू कर दो. Subtract three sixty from two ten. Minus one fifty. Yes, that gives us minus. Miss negative 30 bhi hoga. Yes, 330 minus 360 bhi karke dekhne minus 30. That is correct. And yeah, yeah. Miss, I have a question. Ji, uh, Ryan. Miss, I have a question. We have 330 ke andar 2 to 360 add kum ki hai. Why did we add 2 revenue? Why did we add 2 revenue? Because domain goes till 1000. So you keep adding till you go beyond 1000. Okay. So any solution that you're getting within I'm... minus 400 and 1000, you have to include. Do we get any other so Similarly, Mr. Bam subtract, it can't go. Minus 400. 330 is not add 210 is not bar add 330 is yes. 330 में नहीं किया, that's correct. 
टू टेन प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी वॉज फाइव सेवेंटी एंड फाइव सेवेंटी प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी वॉज थ्री नाइनटी सिक्स नाइनटी में वी कॉन्ट एट थ्री सिक्सटी बिकॉज दैट गोज बी ऑन थाउजेंड अच्छा नेगेटिव कोई और वैल्यू पॉसिबल है नहीं इसमें से सुप्रैक्ट अगेन सो दैट गिवस अस माइनस थ्री नाइनटी सो हाउ मेनी आंसर्स डिड वी गेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट वी गॉट एट आंसर्स विद इन दिन ठीक है That is cos theta is equals to negative zero point one seven six. Start by swapping theta with absolute angle. Absolute means positive only, so you have to write zero point one seven six here. Find this angle cos inverse point. Uh, one seven six. That is seventy nine point eight six. So rounded off to one decimal place. I think seventy nine point nine is good. Okay. Now, which quadrant do we plot this alpha in? Ten. हाँ रेंज में लिखती हूँ रेंज पर माइनस वन एटी टू टू सेवेंटी एक्चुअली इट्स द डोमेन हीटा की वैल्यू इनपुट की वैल्यू है सो इट इज बिटवीन द डोमेन इज बिटवीन माइनस वन एटी टू सेवन ट्वेंटी यस सो यस दो आई वर सेइंग टेन और कॉस नहीं सॉरी टेन और साइन एड फिगर टू कॉफी सो कॉस इज नेगेटिव इन या सेकेंड क्वार्रेंट एंड दर्ड राइट सो वी प्लॉट द थीटा हेयर एंड वी प्लॉट द थीटा हेयर सो वन इज सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन राइट हेयर एंड दर वन इज सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन राइट हेयर Now the angles that we state start from here. So this is one of the angles, and this is one of them. So one eighty minus seventy nine point nine is hundred point one. And one eighty plus seventy nine point nine is. Two fifty six, two fifty nine point nine. Now this is cos, and the periodicity of cos is three sixty degree. That is, you get keep getting the same value minus zero point one seven six if you add three sixty or subtract three sixty degree from these answers. So keep adding and subtracting till you stay within the domain. So hundred point one. Yeah, let's start with two fifty nine point nine. Plus three sixty is six one nine point nine, which is included in the. Because we can't get any more answer because our oh. domain is sort of negative one eighty two to two seventy. ठीक है negative side पे maybe ना आ रहे हो with three but positive side पे तो आ रहे okay and with hundred point one let's keep adding ah three sixty so that is four sixty point one. And I think we can add one more. We can no, no, we can't because that goes beyond uh seven twenty. Now let's go in the negative side. Hundred point one minus three sixty. That is not within the domain. That's negative two hundred and fifty nine point nine. But I think two fifty nine point nine minus three sixty would give us an answer. Minus hundred point four. Yes. From here you do get an answer within the domain. Yeah. Okay. So our answers are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty
two, three, four, and five. We have five answers within the given. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay, I'm going to end this meeting and send you guys a new link and nobody is going to complain about that. Okay, see you in a second.